place is so bright. Welcome guys, we are in Mykonos now. This is the Mykonos Bay Resort. This place literally hurts my eyes. I'm gonna go in the shade real quick. I can't even tell if I'm exposed correctly because my screen, I, can even, I can't even see what's on my screen. But uh, yes, this is the Mykonos Bay Resort. It is a small resort off the island of Mykonos, right next to the sea. It's a very beautiful place. I don't think it's quite as nice as where we stayed in Santorini, but it still is really nice. And as you can tell, it is very photogenic. Uh, definitely gonna take some pictures here. In today's video, we're gonna be going into the main town of Mykonos, just to look around, you know, get a feel for the people and the restaurants there. My brother and I have already gone there, but we figured, you know, should take the rest of the family there, so. Let's go. Okay, so here we have the beach here in Mykonos. There are quite a few beaches actually. We'll probably try to head more to the south side of the island because that's where the party beaches are. And according to the civilians here, the beaches there are not affected by wind because the wind comes from the north. So the southern beaches are supposed to be the nice ones. So probably not today, but we will definitely eventually head down there. So maybe in the next vlog. I guess we're in Mykonos. Alex and mom, say hi mom. Hi mom. Okay, so we've entered the main town of Mykonos. Here are some famous uh, windmills, supposedly. They're, I guess, a famous landmark here in Mykonos. For me, there's nothing really special, but uh, yeah, I guess some information. Starting today, June 1st, the town is going to be coming to life as it's opening up to tourism. So shops, restaurants have been preparing the past few days for today and uh, we can see it. The jewelry shops are actually really nice here. As I've got myself this ring, I really want to get myself a pretty cool necklace as well as shades, but I'll just see if I can try to get myself a cool necklace. One thing obviously this city really has is it's very photogenic. There are a bunch of just plain white walls which just look fantastic for photography. What I like about Mykonos over Santorini so far is that Mykonos is more integrated with the locals. You know, Santorini was kind of made into a paradise for tourists, while as you see here, this is a local basketball court right in the midst of the restaurants and everything beautiful here. So I, I might want to go play there. Okay, so we're back at the hotel. Uh, it was a really nice day, just walking around, taking pictures, enjoying the really amazing food here. Up there for me with Italian food, like true Italian food, like if you've gone to Italy, that's what I mean. Also, Greek people are extremely, extremely nice. Like, not just polite, because uh, going around the world, you know, you meet people who are polite, because, you know, I'm a tourist, they're just trying to be polite to get money or something from me. But people here are just legitimately nice, and it's really a breath of fresh air, especially in today's time. Damn, bro. That water looks like glass, man. Doesn't it? Doesn't that water look like glass? Anyways, I'm going over to the beach because uh, there's a bit of a sunset. You know, Greece is kind of known for its sunset, so I'd be an idiot not to show you guys. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Let me adjust the exposure. That is what I'm talking about. And that is not even, I don't even know if the camera can show you how awesome that actually looks. It actually just looks amazing. I think I'm gonna try to take a picture of it with the 100 to 400 mil, just to get some really cool compression down there. I'll try to also make some TikToks with it. Uh, so definitely go uh, follow me on TikTok, whatever. Let me just take a picture, you know, my phone. 
because I always take pictures with my expensive ass camera and people are like, oh yeah, obviously it's gonna look good with your 3,000, 4,000. What? <laughs> Sorry, my brother is looking at me. Obviously it's gonna look good with my 3,000, 4,000 dollar camera, so let's take it with the iPhone 12. Broke a piece of the hotel. But I also want to try to make some TikToks with this. So I need to get some like video around with my phone. And then I'm going to take a shot with the 100 to 400, as I said. The 100 to 400 millimeters is starting to become probably my favorite lens right now. I use the 16 to 35, this one on the camera, always for vlogging and all that. But for photography, the 100 to 400, just beautiful. Especially because I can crop the sensor uh, by 1.6, which turns it to like a 600 plus millimeter lens. Let me show you some examples. Oh my god guys, this is what I see! 